and many more of you have got so much, so much to say about this. Let's talk now to a couple of experts. Angela Knight's going to join us shortly, former head of Energy UK. But first up, Paul Farmer as the CEO of Age UK. Paul, very good morning. Morning to you, Mike. How are uh, you? I'm very well indeed. This has gone down, I, I can only say, as about a, uh, sort of a bucket of cold sick, as they used to say in the old days with the Tories, uh, who were seen as the nasty party. Um, Rachel Reeves being, being called Rachel the Robber by some of my viewers, uh, who are very, very angry at the fact that she's targeted pensioners in order to pay public sector workers more money. Well, I can absolutely tell you that lots of older people are really concerned about this. Uh, and in particular, we're worried about those people who... Uh, are close to the poverty line, but but not on that poverty line, yeah. who rely on this winter fuel payment. I mean, it's £300 for a lot of people. It makes an awful lot of difference to people's ability to be able to heat their own homes yeah. during the winter months. It might be the hottest day of the year today, but in a, a few months' time, the winter will be upon us, and there will be many older people who are really concerned about not having that winter fuel win, winter fuel payment. Yeah, absolutely right. And it does seem to me, I mean, many people have also pointed this out, that they could have gone uh, to people and said, look, some people who are in receipt of the winter fuel payment maybe don't need it. Um, why don't we actually allow you to opt out of it? Which up until now, people tell me it's been impossible to do because the system just doesn't allow you to do it. Yeah, there is a big problem with the system here. And uh, as you rightly say, uh, you know, I think we know that this is a a lot of the, the problems that lots of older people have is actually claiming just simply being able to claim some of the support that they're entitled to so there's uh, benefits like pension credit or attendance allowance and equally on the other side of the coin for people who maybe don't want to receive it to be able to have the opportunity to opt out and you know we think a much better thing to do now would be to to take the time to make that system work much better for people so that the people who are uh, who really do need it are able to claim it and people who who are who don't need it are able to say we don't we won't we don't want to claim it thank right. you and also people are also saying to me you know we'd understand it if they were targeting other areas of expenditure as well but in addition to appearing to to want to subsidize pay rises for public sector workers with pensions uh, with pensioners money they're also sending away you know quite a lot of money 12 billion or so uh, around the world for climate change and i think a lot of people are finding that a bit hard to swallow as well well i mean older people do rely on public sector workers for a lot of their support you know i think it is important to recognize that our public sector workers are hugely important for older people you know they want to feel safe on the street because of and so they want to make sure that they've got uh, a police around to support them they want to get access to great public services like the nhs and the nhs yeah, but the nhs is not a great public service that's part of the problem and i mean it's not going to get any any easier for the nhs if they've got more pensioners who are suffering from cold during the winter is it well and, and i think that is i agree with you about that i think that is the point that this this is uh, this this is a kind of ra 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 really kind of deeply regrettable move by the chancellor because we do know that there are some people who need that extra money to be able to right. stay well and unfortunately it will be a, a really challenging winter for many people and it'll be a challenging winter for the NHS and so you know we do think the chancellor should reconsider this decision. So will you be making some yeah. kind of representation as Age UK to the chancellor? Oh yes, we'll be launching our campaign in the next couple of days to uh, reverse this decision um, and we will certainly be um, uh, making a representation to the Chancellor and the Secretary of State for Work and Pensions, Liz Kendall, um, uh, whose department of course administers pensions uh, to get this decision reversed. Well I'm sure our, our listeners and viewers will be very happy to hear that and we'll certainly support you Paul in, in any of your endeavours. Thank you very much indeed. Paul Farmer uh, from Age UK saying that he's going to be making personal representations to Rachel Reeves uh, and to Liz Kendall the Department for Work and Pensions about all of this.